Hey buddy, <laughs> good morning. Trying to stay warm? I see you in the nice heated blanket. Yeah. So we got Rachel here, and we also have Rachel here. First time wearing the Rachel crew neck, and I love it. <laughs> Erica always says that, like when I'm contemplating about buying something, she's like, does it spark joy? If it sparks joy, he says I should go ahead and buy it. So this oh. one's definitely doing its job. Tell them how you justified that one. How I justified it? Yeah, how oh, it's basically $35 because we'll both buy it. Oh yeah, so this is pretty expensive. I think it, yeah, it was about $70. Um, we are like, that's kind of steep, but you know, it takes a little work from the artist to actually have to put it together and whatnot. But yeah, I justified it because Erica and I pretty much wear the same clothes often. So I was like, well, it's pretty much $35 because we're both going to wear it, you know? Some girl math. There we go. That girl math is real. <laughs> I'm about to have the tastiest breakfast ever. Shredded chicken and peas. <laughs> oh, I'll probably have a banana and maybe a English muffin or something like that to add a little bit more carbs, but this is gonna be the foundation right here. Getting the protein, a little bit of vegetables, and I'll find a carb source here in a second. Decided to go ahead and go with a banana for the carb source, and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of um, body armor in here for additional carbs for the workout because one banana isn't too much carbs, so having a little bit more in the workout will be helpful. Of course, you know, we're gonna to put together the intro workout mix with the gym hydration. Also, the post gym, take down the vitamins, got the collagen ready as well. The normal routine before we go to the gym. So, I'm gonna take all this down, put together the intro workout drink, and then head over to the gym. We have upper body today because that's pretty much all I can do right now until this adductor gets a little bit better. It's gym time. What you got today? Upper. Upper body. Have you been doing pretty much like all upper at once like I've been doing? Yeah. Cool. What's your favorite upper body lift? <sighs> overhead press, seated overhead press, seated yeah. and dumbbell overhead press. She loves shoulder presses. What's your max on that? I Lifetime max. 45s, but that's when I hurt my neck. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't do shoulder presses right now because my shoulder, I'm all beat up, man. And you know what's crazy about my shoulder is that it actually kind of feels a little weird today. Like I feel a little aggravated or aggravation there, a little irritation and I haven't even been to the gym in two days. So I think it's more about how I'm sleeping or maybe when I'm just like hanging out if I'm like sleeping, laying on my my right side. So maybe I gotta weather. cut that out. The weather could be a factor. We gotta get out of Ohio, man. It's too cold, bro. But nonetheless, we here. We showed up now it's time to show out. No wasted steps. No wasted steps. We're gonna be starting this upper body session the same way we started last Friday's upper body session. Just doing some chin ups. Still not trying to do any overhand this type of movement because it aggravates my shoulder more. Staying tight to the body, bringing that chest to the bar, chin over the bar. Let's go. Four. 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 Five. Feels pretty good. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good 12 there, getting loose. So with my shoulder feeling this way, I'm not gonna be doing any PRs today, I don't think at least. So I'm just gonna go 25, which is the max I did last week. Bust out anywhere from 10 to 15, depending on how I'm feeling. Let's get to it. 10, come on. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, probably could do like one or two more, but we're not going to true failure given the shoulder situation, which I'm a little bit sad about. My whole body's rejecting me right now, but you know, 
we do what we can listen to the body don't make things worse all right guys just like last week we have another jersey guest for you so guess the jersey can you guys guess what i got under here it's here's a couple clues it's obviously matching the colorway so it's green um it's a high right here green and gold it's green and gold it's a high school jersey of a current nba player it is um third hint it is a player that is from ohio so those are your hints can you guess all right time's up here you go boom we got a lebron james st vincent st mary irish jersey back when he was in high school which is in the akron ohio area and i was in like middle school when i first started hearing about lebron james up in northern ohio so you know he's an ohio legend and we love him Oh yeah, the pump is real already. My back and biceps are burning. We've got four sets total, anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, train to failure. I'm gonna be alternating between a push and a pull. So just did a pull over here, now we're going to a push. I'm gonna do an incline dumbbell chest press. I actually haven't done this in a while just because the shoulder situation has been going on. I feel a little bit, it's a little bit more risky to do more unstable things like a dumbbell press, but I'm gonna give it a shot, see how we can go. Uh, I normally do the max weight here, 100 pounds. So I can do definitely do more than that, but I haven't done it in a while, so it's probably gonna be pretty challenging. We're just gonna give it a go and see what happens. Here we go, let's give it a spin. All right, feels pretty good. Let's work. One, two, yep, no pain. Three, four, come on. Five. Keep going. Nine. Ooh. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh. All right. So that was thirteen. I felt no pain. So I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna do uh, just three sets total. So two more. That was 13, so moving forward, I'm gonna take probably two, three minute rest in between sets here and get, I'm assuming, anywhere from like nine to 12 on the next two sets. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to a, a horizontal pool motion. For our next pool exercise, we're gonna go here on the chest supporter row. I'll, ideally, I would wanna use this here and go wide and try to hit more on my upper middle back. I haven't been able to do that for a while because this motion pulling back is actually the one that causes the most pain with my shoulder right now. So I thought, okay, let's go ahead and go here, tighter to the body, focus more on lats, keeping the elbow tight to the body. But unfortunately, the way that this machine is set up, I was pulling more like towards my chest. And I want to pull lower towards my hip to get the best activation possible. So I'm actually going to improvise and go here with dumbbells, even though the angle is a little bit steep, it's okay because I'll be hitting a little bit of my traps as well in this positioning. I'll prefer it to be more flat, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have to use what you have. So I'm gonna go here, row, keep it tight to the body, and hit these lats and also have a little more activation from muscles in my upper back, including the traps, because of the angle. So I can only get like six good reps. So I'll probably go a little bit lighter. However, that was my second set because the first set I did off the of camera just to make sure it felt okay. So I'll probably just stay here because I always use like four or five reps as my floor. So if I can do at least four or five, 
then I can continue with the same weight, but that was tough. We got three sets total, anywhere from six, five, five reps to about eight is probably what I'm guessing for me. Next, moving on to another push exercise. We're gonna go just flat chest press here, three sets anywhere from eight to 12 reps, trying to fail within that rep range. Ah. Moving on to some isolation work for the arms. So we're gonna do a seated bicep curl here, superset with a tricep extension, which is gonna be done on the rope cable machine. And uh, gonna try 40s here for this. I believe this is the most I've done on this recently. I have to check the app, but I'm gonna give this a try and see if I can get anywhere from eight to 10 reps. Like I was telling you guys last time, my biceps are all show, so this is gonna be tough. When you sit down, you eliminate that momentum even more. So here we go. sucked. <sighs> Second exercise in the superset is just going to be rope extensions here. So for both of these, we're doing four sets, anywhere from eight to 12 reps, trying to fail within that rep range. I got 120 on, so let's do it. That was tough. After this superset, it's a wrap for the workout. So I'll see you guys wherever we're getting some food next. Probably more leftovers. <laughs> if we have any left, huh? We've got the post-workout meal together. It's just rice, mixed vegetables, some chicken. And unfortunately, this is the last of the chicken that we have prepared. So it's not that much. So I decided to also go with a little bit more protein with some yogurt here. And I highly suggest you guys check out this Japanese barbecue sauce. It's like a soy sauce type thing. It tastes great on rice, chicken. Um, do you know, is this from Costco? They have it at Costco, yeah. Okay, I think we got this at Costco and it's almost over, it's almost done, so we need to get some more. But this is great on something simple like this meal here. Try it out. You guys got our routine down pretty much by now, I'm sure, so at a coffee shop, we're back at Starbucks. Uh, not Erica's favorite, but trying to be a little bit quicker today because I have some consultation calls that start at four and it's already 140. So we got to get to work. We have all of our typical stuff we got to do, client check-ins, um, posting on social media, all that good fun stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. Anything you want to say to the people? Erica has no comment. She's ready to work. <laughs> yo, yo. So got done with the consultation calls. Um, got done with my Zoom clients tonight and Gonna just edit this video and turn it in for the night. The consultation calls went well. One of them was an individual from Guatemala, which is pretty cool. Like I get inquiries often from different countries, but it's not too often where someone from Central America or South America um, is able to actually do one of the programs. And it's mostly because of currency issues. Um, you know, their, our currency exchange rate is pretty ex steep for most people that are located in countries in South America or Central America. So we'll see what happens with uh, the individual individual from Guatemala. I'm super excited because it seemed pretty promising and we're going to see if we can work something out. And uh, it's just great when you have people hit you up from different places around the world. We have clients in China, Mexico, um, Europe, Omen, so in the Middle East. Um, all over the world it's just pretty cool to be able to see that and it's just amazing that even though we're so far apart as far as distance we still 
have the same goals and the same needs as human beings. And health and fitness is really at the forefront of a lot of people's goals. And we're hoping we can help provide some knowledge, motivation, inspiration, and accountability to help people stay on track with their goals and, and start to build the body and health that they want. So it's been a blessing and it's so cool to see all these different people all over the world and know that I can help motivate and inspire them. But um, that's it for the vlog today, guys. I'm getting pretty sleepy. It's Friday night, it's been a long week. I'll see you guys tomorrow. No waste of steps.